ever since early on, I was really obsessed with the power of aroma, um, but also how fleeting aroma was. So for instance, when you slice into a fresh grapefruit and you get this one second burst, that's like really intense and ethereal, but then it's gone. I really wanted to capture that one second and bottle it, but also uh, a lot of other moments like that. It took me uh, over 10 years of figuring out the science and the art of, of capturing that moment. And it took me, you know, like all around the world finding ingredients um, deep inside the kind of like food science and chemistry of all of it. Um, and then even took me into the perfume industry for a little while. Eventually it all culminated uh, in me figuring out a way to, to source, extract, blend, bottle, and mist aromatics um, so you could recreate that one second, whether it's citrus or herbs or some personal scent memory. And so after I figured that out, I basically quit my job, started a company with zero direction at first, just knowing that I had discovered something amazing and I wanted to share it with the world. All of the mists and most of the elixirs are personal scent memories for me. So that's usually where I start. So chocolate birthday cake or Andalusia's garden or citrus blossom harvest, the names of these aren't just like clever names. They're uh, you know sensory experiences that I've had before that I wanted to recreate. Everyone really, really, when they experience the product, they love it. Um, an interesting thing is before the experience, there is a lot of pushback. People are very skeptical, you know, because if you just hear about it, it can seem kind of like maybe it's just a gimmick or maybe it's just adding flavor. Every time someone finally tries it, even if they're skeptical, they just have this like huge smile on their face because, you know, they identify with that scent memory or they're like, oh my God, that, that tastes just like fresh lunch or just like fresh grapefruit. Um, so just on a personal level, people love it. So this is a really amazing drink. It's called the Warner Classic. It's super smoky and leathery. Um, it's actually smoking while it was being made. That was my first time trying it. He had us taste it before and then spritzed some aromas. Uh, definitely never had anything spritzed on my drink, but it tastes great. This is amazing. Allison the Magician is holding it down. I got the bow tail. He let me taste it regular and then added aromatherapy on top. It was mind blowing. Allison the Magician, the name is a two part thing. Um, I've always been fascinated, almost obsessed with Alice in Wonderland and especially the part where she finds that little bottle that says drink me and when she does she transforms and she's able to like enter this whole fantastical world of nonsense and fun and that's my feeling about aroma and flavor is that it can even if you're just the same person in the same place it can really transport you to like a million different places that don't even exist in the real world um, and the magician part of it is kind of my fascination and obsession with um, the science, aroma, and alchemy of flavor too, where you can have this drink that tastes like one thing and then poof, it tastes completely different. Like to me, that's akin to, to magic.